Good evening and welcome to the vlog. Today I want to talk to you guys about what it's like to be an Instagram influencer and how you too can become one. So, um, saying that, I already sound like a cheesy salesman that tells you get rich quick wearing this outfit. I look a bit ridiculous, but uh, that's just me leaving work. This is my normal day job kind of attire. And um, yeah, I'm actually heading over to an Instagram event right now that I got invited to over Instagram. So I thought might as well take the time while walking there to talk to you guys a bit about what that's like. So, um, yeah, first of all, let me start off by saying how much I hate the word influencer. Kind of makes you sound like you're a person that manipulates people and that's not what I'm about at all. So I don't like the term at all, but I guess the term influencer kind of just means that you have a decent audience on social media and that people want to leverage off your audience and work together with you to promote their products and stuff. So that's kind of cool. And um, how do you get there? And that's the key question, and that's what I want to address. So, um, I guess you, at its core, you need to build up a decent audience on social media, be that YouTube or Instagram or whatever. And let me talk to you, let me tell you guys about how I went about it, and maybe you can apply that kind of strategy to your own social media accounts too. So, um, well, I'm a London based cityscape and landscape photographer, and that's how I managed to grow my Instagram account. Currently sitting on 30,000 uh, followers which is pretty cool, but um, I'd say from about 10,000, the invites to a lot of events and opportunities started rolling in. So um, this is a bit of a cheesy message, but I do think it holds true. I think if you're only out on Instagram to be chasing followers solely for this kind of reason, I think you are uh, on the wrong path entirely. I think you need to have a lot of personal conviction and do something you personally believe in, otherwise it's just you'll be phony and the success just won't be real. So um, that being said, find a niche that works for you. It might be beauty products or travel or food. In my case, it was just photographing cities. And really hone in on that theme because that'll be your target market, right? So that's the way you associate yourself and that's the way brands see you as well and where they see the value in working together with you. So once you've identified your theme, staying true to that theme is very important and of course it's going to be a long hard road, especially in the beginning, to get that uh, ball rolling, get that snowball effect happening while you grow your account. So um, I'd say just stay organic, stick to your theme and do what you do best because that's what it's all about. Don't try to beat the system, don't try shortcuts because that doesn't work in the, at the end of the day because you will get found out you will get found out and your credibility suffers and nobody will want to work with you. So um, examples of that would be buying followers or do, doing all kinds of shady tactics on Instagram like following and unfollowing or writing a whole bunch of um, attention seeking comments on other people's posts. I think that just doesn't reflect well on you and you just come across more desperate than anything else. So wouldn't recommend doing that. Just do you. That's very important. That's the one piece of advice I'd give you towards growing a a proper Instagram account with a lot of natural engagement with followers that actually care about what you have to offer that weren't just hoaxed into somehow following your account so um, just bear that in mind and success should follow if, peop if you offer something that people are interested in so I did want this vlog to primarily be a positive message and I do stay true to that but in order to give a bit of perspective I thought maybe it's good to also uh, give a negative example so I know this girl personally who has just about, just about the same amount of followers as me, slightly more actually. And I looked at her account the other day and she gets about half as many likes as me. And the reason why that is the case is because she um, tried to beat the system and grow followers not by convincing people through her content but rather by cheating them. So she did the whole follow unfollow tactic and all kinds of other random stuff and I think the proof is right there, right? The people actually don't really care about her content. They were kind of just hoaxed into being her followers. And it doesn't end there. I also noticed she does a lot of promotions these days because uh, being a girl, compared to being a landscape photographer, obviously you're a lot more marketable for beauty products, fashion, whatever, right? Like that would be weird for somebody who primarily photographs skylines. So um, anyway, when she advertises these products and you read the comments, it's just her friends creating fake engagement for her. So I think that's almost fraudulent because all the friends are saying, oh babe, beautiful cream, oh hun, thanks for recommending this product, so great. Like, but you could totally see it's fake and staged. 
and at the end of the day I don't think brands pay for you to uh, fraud them they want to see you connect with a target audience and not uh, have your friends dupe the brands into believing that they spent their money wisely so at the end of the day it's, it's just fraud and it boils down to uh, just having ethics and mor uh, morals as a person so don't do those things just stay true to yourself and I mean that is more important in life than to be internet famous or fake internet famous that's even worse so don't do it okay all that negativity aside let's focus back on the vlog and on today's story so the reason why I decided to make this vlog today is because like I said earlier I'm actually on my way to an event right now and that's um, a restaurant chain called CSC's they for example own um, the restaurant at the top of the floor of a gherkin really beautiful views as well as the one we're going to right now which is in St Pancras uh, train station so I thought it'd be cool to just show you like uh, behind the scenes of what that's like to be invited by Instagram and kind of your expectations and what you can expect at these kind of events so um, typically they just fill you up with booze and give you free food and in return expect you to promote their brand via stories and posts so it's fun at the end of the day and it's kind of cool and easy going so always keen to do that and I think it's also good to build up relationships because this is already the second or third time they're inviting me so um, it's good to build an enduring relationship and who knows how where that will develop over time and what future opportunities might present themselves so that's really cool and um, yeah almost at St Pancras right now so gonna meet my friend Damien who's featured in many previous vlogs of mine so um, you'll probably recognize him if you haven't if you have been following this channel if not probably hit that subscribe button below and you should be following it from now going forward so um, yeah let's go inside and then I'll show you what that's all about and also talk you through my decisions of why I created certain content via my Instagram stories and my thought process behind that by the way, I absolutely love St Pancras as a train station. From the outside you're greeted by traditional British architecture, but step inside and you'll find yourself in an ultra-modern train station that is the gateway to Europe, with trains running as far as Paris and Amsterdam. So I managed to find Damien, say hello to the vlog. Hello. And uh, we're in St Pancras International Train Station now, which is where the restaurant is. So uh, we're going to head inside and probably focus a bit more on B-roll, a bit of video, and then I'll talk to you guys about it. Maybe throughout or afterwards. Let's go make this happen and get drunk, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what it's really all about, getting drunk. It's so, champagne. Yeah, champagne, <laughs> champagne showers. Let's go. The CSE's restaurants are always very classy and elegant, which I absolutely love. And the food and drink is phenomenal. And that's kind of where the trade begins. That's what they offer you. And in return, they appreciate you sharing your experience with your audience. There's rarely set expectations as to what you must post. But for these kind of events, I find a few Instagram stories, mentioning the place and showcasing it are plenty enough. Because I'm also not a food blogger, so photographing that would very much go against the grain of my feed, which mostly features cities. Okay, so I'm back home now and I thought I'd quickly debrief this video. By the way, uh, in terms of continuity, this video is absolutely terrible. Since then, I'm wearing a new outfit, and even more, I've gotten a new haircut. But anyway, that shouldn't distract from the message. And, um, yeah, so back to the video. So, what you just saw was a, um, a free opportunity. So, it's just about food and having a good time, and that's always great. So, um, but as you continue on your journey and your Instagram career as an influencer, you might also find that you will be presented with paid-for opportunities. And these get a little bit more difficult, because, um, Often you're the one who has to quote the company and it's very important to know your worth and also to stick by your worth and trust me, I had to learn that the hard way where I sold myself short a few times which I deeply regret now and um, I guess the best way to find out your worth is to talk to your peers, um, ask around, find out what the going market rate is and then peg yourself accordingly when you make these bids and you also kind of want to be steadfast and kind of stand your ground because all these companies will try um, bid you down or offer you some kind of free product you didn't want in the first place and that's where my recommendation would be to you um, choose wisely and pick the right things that you really want to work with and that are lucrative enough or 
opportunities that you f actually enjoy. So this evening, drinking champagne, hanging out with a good friend of mine, perfect evening, totally worth it. But don't just jump on the bandwagon for the next best thing and try finding uh, a quick buck here and there at every opportunity. That's just not worth it and you're just selling yourself short at the end of the day. And um, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I myself turn, on, turn down most offers and really only stick to the ones that really pay well or are fantastic opportunities I enjoy doing anyway. So um, yeah, I guess you gotta just bear in mind that every time you do a paid for opportunity or any kind of promotion that's distracting from your core message on your theme and uh, actually making the overall message of your Instagram account a lot weaker and distracting from what you are passionate about and started posting about in the first place. So bear that in mind, try to strike a balance and um, make sure that the majority of your posts are what you're passionate about and that come from the heart and that your audience loves seeing and I promise you, you will have a very successful career on Instagram that's also just a lot of fun. And that's why we all started Instagram in the first place. So never lose track of that and you'll be having a good time and you'll be seeking happiness, which is what it's all about. So anyway, that's my little ramble, that's my insight on things. If you want to share your opinion on uh, Instagram or how the whole influencer business is taking over the marketing world by storm, do let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear your opinion and share some ideas with you and get to keep the exchange moving. So love to hear your thoughts. And also if you enjoyed watching this video, I'd also appreciate it if you'd hit that like button. And if you really want to see more Instagram uh, insight, behind the scenes stuff, uh, my other thoughts on Instagram or just want to join me behind the scenes as I photograph London which is my primary activity and which is what I'm passionate about and what got me into this YouTube channel and Instagram in the first place I'd be even more delighted if you'd hit that subscribe button below and join me on future photography adventures in London and all around the world. That's all from me, thanks for watching.